Hi everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but we're here. New mom over here, still getting used to being a parent. Today, we are going to be gardening. At one point, I felt defeated because I felt like I couldn't do it. Because, you know, I live in New York. How can, is it possible to grow, grow your own food? But just using what you have, and by the grace of God, we have a backyard, so I'm using my backyard to garden. So I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, and you guys are going to see the mistakes with me and go through the journey with me. Right? But the first thing we need to do is take the weeds out of the ground, pull them out of the ground because and make room because it will kill your plants, it will kill your vegetables, it will kill your crops if you do not, okay? So let's take the weeds out. Right now I'm not planting anything in the ground because it requires more digging to really clear, clear it out because I have some rocks at the bottom so we're going to do everything in the back. If you don't have a backyard but you have a little space by the window or whatever the case may be or a small backyard or a concrete backyard, you can literally plant everything in the back. The first thing I'm going to plant is garlic and from garlic what I've learned YouTube University is to put it in a rectangular bag if you're doing in a bag break it apart trying to get the big garlics because that will produce a uh, bigger garlic so just take the whole cloves you stick it in the bottom end and the pointy part is the part that should be sticking up and the whole should be like two inches apart I would say I love garlic like I love 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 garlic growing up I didn't really care for it, but as I've gotten older and cook more, I love it in all of my dishes. Like, if I'm cooking and there's no garlic in my food, what's the point, right? And apart from that, it is so healthy for you. Like, do your research and see, because it's a, li a list of things that garlic could do for you. If you could plant anything, it's easy. Just plant garlic. There's two different types of garlic. So there's hard head, no, hard neck, and there's soft neck. If you live in the East Coast or the more colder areas, North, it's best to plant hard neck because it can withstand the cold weather. It likes the cold weather. If like if you live in a warmer climate, obviously you do the soft neck because that is the weather that it can handle. I bought my garlic from Whole Foods, so hopefully it's a hard neck. I, I kind of pressed on the neck. It was a little, you know, we'll see. Trial and error. The next thing I'm going to plant is ginger because like garlic, I put ginger in everything. Almost everything. I love ginger. It is good for you have a cold. It is good if you have a headache. It is good for your digestive system. It is good for so many things. Have you ever noticed, like, if you ever bought garlic and leave it out on your counter for a while, it's going to start sprouting, right? So it's not really that hard to um, garden. You just take the ginger, you break it apart, you put it in a bag, it's going to sprout, you water it, and you grow your ginger, right? And from each you see like the ends. The ends is where it's going to grow from. And I use the bigger bag, fashion people like to call it north-south because it's going up and down. I use that kind of bag for the ginger because it's a root vegetable. Something tall would be good for ginger. Carrots, something like that, a tall bag would be good for that. Or uh, uh, for potato, another like a tall bag would be good for that as well. It needs something deep. So that's why I grew the ginger in that kind of bag. We're going to leave this little wormy sir alone so he can just nourish and just play in our soul and just be good for our crop so that's why i have i'm planting so far this is a test or trial run okay uh, this uh uh tomatoes last summer wasn't great because i feel like i planted too much it was two different varieties i should have separated it that's one and two the weather was not great this summer it was just on and off it was just weird weather so on god i was surprised when i went outside i saw tomatoes growing i was shocked but i don't know how much it's going to survive because it's cold now but that was a trial run what i've been planting more and more is tomatoes but i want to shift and try more different things this year um easy ones first before we start getting a little deep and intricate okay because i want to learn first before we start digging up the backyard and actually really planting we got neighbors having the chicken coops we got neighbors uh planting other vegetables this at this point people are going to the primitive things so humans used to do because they realize the importance of knowing these skills and that's something I'm trying to teach myself as a mother as a wife you know God tells her prophet 31 woman always preparing for the winter the way, the way this world is going just knowing those basic basic skills will be so beneficial for you and your family so I tell my friends this all the time and like every month I take it upon myself to learn something new whether if it's baking bread sourdough bread or you know just the little things that you know that in a time of need, if you know how to do 
these things you have food on your table so in the future i would like to do potatoes i like to do cabbage uh lettuce and all these things so let's see what the future what the future holds but thank you for joining me i hope you guys enjoyed this okay bye Thank you.